Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Daniel, the CEO of Phaeton Corporation. We meet again today. Yes, yesterday we talked about some information that, as a buyer, you should know about the UVC, about the UVC LED. Today, let's continue the topic of UVC. Talking about UVC, people always have some exciting ideas. For example, I have some. Customer, they told me that they hope to build a UVC telephone cabinet that people can work inside and then to get their body clean, and that's his idea. Another client, he told me that he hoped to install the UVC ceiling lamp in the crowd places like the school, like the airports, like the office, that people they can do the cleaning. When they are inside this kind of place, another client he hoped to make a UVC storage box that he can put the box behind the factory, and then when workers come inside before the end of the factory, the worker shoes can be cleaned. Another client he told me that he hoped to combine the human sensor with the UVC lamp. Which means that when there is no people, the UVC lamp will be turned on, and it is automatically to sterilize the room. And of course, when people come inside, the UVC lamp will turn off, and then the invisible, the traditional lights will be turned on. Another client, he hoped to make a UVC door, which means that. People can stay for a while, for example, maybe ten seconds, and then to do the sterilization before they entering some building, some shopping mall, something like that. He told me, this kind of sterilization door, the technology has been achieved in United States, but is in short supply right now due to the COVID. But actually, when I heard. This idea, I am doubtful about that. When the cost, when the supplier told the clients that they need a very long delivery time, is that due to the short supply, or actually it is difficult to achieve the mass production since this kind of products is just a we call PPT products. Actually, all above ideas. Are wonderful, wonderful, but in fact, it is almost impossible to make them happen at this right now. Maybe you ask why. First, UV, no matter the UVA, UVB, UVC, they are harmful to human health. It cannot work in the presence of human, which means that. When here is、uh, UVC lighting, I am a human. I stand here. No, it's not possible. The UVC lighting will hurt me. This is the first thing. Although, as what we talked about yesterday, there is some experiments shows that the 222 nanometer, which we call far UVC, may be safe for human health, but. There are some reasons. I think it is not possible right now. First, it is still in the experimental stage and far away from commercial application. There is still no clinical data to prove it is really safe to human. Not yet. Second, two hundred and twenty-two nanometer, the chip is still in the sample stage, which means that. It cannot be widely supplied and cannot be widely used. Even as a UVC company, we are not able to get the UVC chip with 222 nanometer from the market right now. I think almost no one can get that. Three, the cost will be very, very high. Even right now. Most people still cannot afford the 250 nanometer and the 270 nanometer, not to mention 
That is the most expensive right now. This is the first reason. And secondly, you will see it decays very fast in the air. It won't have good stabilization effect if it is too far away from objects. Like for the UVC LED, apply on ceiling. Apply for many people think about that maybe there is a UVC light in our overhead. It requires high power to achieve the effective. To require very very high power to stabilizing to the floor. And also the cost will be too high for people to afford. That's also not possible. And also, no matter how much power it is, the maximum distance, the maximum distance between the LED lighting and the objective that you need to do the cleaning, the maximum distance, my friend, is around only one meter. Which means that longer than one meter, there will be a lot laptop less or even we can say there is no effect for sterilization this is the second reason the third reason the shorter the wavelength the stronger the energy but the weaker the penetration the faster the decay this is the very important um, words that we talked about yesterday as the short wavelength UVC cannot penetrate many objects and can only achieve straight direction to do the virus killing. Which means that here is the UVC, the lighting is go like this way, but cannot this way, cannot this way. Which means that if there is something behind the UVC lighting, something that area cannot do the sterilization. This is the third reason. Which means that if we have a lighting overhead and if you have something there, 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 that's in the corner, no, the UVC cannot reach that. So in conclusion, to apply UVC LED technology in regular area, like walking, like living, there are some conditions it should one be in a small confined space two have enough operation time at least three to five or even 10 15 and 30 minutes if you are thinking about that maybe you can do the sterilization in 10 seconds or 20 seconds no for now, it is almost not possible. For example, you can make a UVC sterilization box for small things like cell phones and glasses. This is what we talked about yesterday. Or you can make a tiny UVC UFO to pass in your wardrobe, shoes cabinets, and even toilet cover to do the cleaning. However, if you want to sterilize the whole room, such a big space, UVC air sterilization is almost the best option at this moment for your consideration. Why? You should ask why and how does air sterilization work? There have two ways I suggest. You can make the UVC via or go through the air conditioners or go through the air purifier. First, we need to talk about is the commercial air conditioner. Because this one, we can easily find that the commercial air conditioners in public place every school, every shopping mall, every store, every market, and every office, you can easily find the commercial air conditioners. And 
different from the family air conditioner. One commercial air conditioner, it works for different rooms. This is the biggest difference as the commercial air conditioner and the family air conditioner. That means if the bacteria or virus they appear in one room, it means it can be in another room easily through the spread of the air. For example, the virus go with the air, come from this room and then to another room. This is one specific feature of the commercial air conditioner. It makes us worried. As the situation is a bit in balancing, under the wire spread of COVID-19, we are worried about, about the air quality in public places. Just like even right now, we are not so confident to go to some public place if there is some commercial air conditioner. We were saying that, hey, is the air safe right now? But to make money for living, we need to work. To work, we face the hot temperature, but to stay cool, we need the air conditioner. That's why I say the situation is some kind of embarrassing, a conflict. Just like one of my friends, he is running a preschool education center. The center, there is no window, only central air conditioner. And my friend is very worried. He is always thinking about how to persuade the parents that the area is safe in the preschool. It is a big question to my friend. So we need to do something for the commercial air conditioner. But as what we said before, the UVC must function in a small, confined area at enough working time. It is not possible that we should make it clean the room directly. It is not, not possible. You cannot make the uh, UVC lighting here and then to clean the whole room. It is not a good idea. That's why we apply the UVC technology to commercial air conditioner. We put the UVC inside the air conditioner and then when the air flow, it will keep stabilizing the air. But there is also one very important issue. Only UVC is not enough for airflow application. Please, I need to read that again. Only the UVC is not enough for airflow application. Which means that if you put one UVC lamp here in a still air, that's no problem. At least it can clean one meter. But if we put a UVC lamp inside the airflow station, which means that the foam is the UVC is not enough. We have ever do some research before. With a 30 words UVC lamp, which is already a very big power also. And with a 10 centimeter this distance, it would take 4.4 seconds to do the sterilization. But this data is only in steel air. In steel air, 10 cm distance, it is going to need 4.4 seconds. And how's the situation in airflow situation? In airflow situation, with the air speed maybe about 3 meters per second, how much time do you think is needed to kill the virus? The answer is maybe never. Maybe never. It would need much, much longer time to clean the whole room. Why? Because the virus fly very quick. Because the virus goes through the UVC too fast. 
and there is not enough time for the sterilization. When you run the circle and come to the UVC radiation again, maybe the virus already repaired itself to come back to a normal virus already. That's why. That's why that only UVC is not enough. And there are two ways to solve this problem. The first situation is that to make the UVC power even bigger, maybe 60 words, maybe 90 words, to achieve the immediate healing. But that would make the cost higher a lot. That's the first solution. Second, gives another solution. For example, the solution we are using right now, it is the UVC plus UVA plus TiO2 filter, which we call a photocatalyst. It is a combination of UVC, UVA, and TiO2 filter. This system is easy to install, and you just need to open the interaction points of um, fresh air and written air, and then install our filter into it. That's the end. And the quantity of UV filter has nothing to do with the quantity of the air outlets. For example, even you have 10, 20 rooms to do the cleaning, it doesn't matter. Only one UV system is needed because you can just put it in the interaction of the fresh or written air. Once there is only one interaction, only one system is needed. And generally speaking, only one set can be enough to cover the space where one main air conditioner apply, which means that if your air conditioner is cool enough to cool the room, and then the UVC system is enough to clean the room. And you may wonder and you may ask one question, why it is designed as UVC plus UVA plus TiO2 filter? Why? The reasons are very simple. There are some reasons. One, under UVA, TiO2 will have functions of sterilization. This is so-called photocatalyst, and this technology is already very mutual, better than the only UVC. Second, not only virus killing, but also can low down the formaldehyde and smoking of the room, which only UVC cannot do. Which means that if you have a new room which you just bought, or you have a new house you just entered, if you have the, only have the UVC, it cannot kill, it can low down the formaldehyde. But if you use the photocatalyst, it can do that, which means that people won't be worried about the formaldehyde. This is very important. Third, for the virus not killed by TiO2, UVC can do the supplementary function, which means that the virus is not killed by the TiO2, no problem, we have UVC to kill it made the performance even better. Fourth, since UVC only provide the supplementary function, no need so much power and then we can load out the cost a lot. This is a very important solution to make it acceptable by most of the company and by most of the people, most of the family. That's is why we make it for the solution for HVAC. UVC, UVA, photocatalyst. And how about the household? How about the family area that 
our bedroom, our living room. Gentlemen, household is a larger market than commercial air conditioner, and customers also have stronger demand in sterilization. We are not going to the shopping mall. We are not going to the uh, the, the the mall every day, but every day we stay in our room, right? And we all know that in the future, the inner filter of the ministries have a lot of bacteria and have a lot of virus. It is suggested that the filter should be cleaned once a month. Once a month, this is everyone is talking about. But where? In fact, I do believe that most of the families they do this cleaning once a year or even longer, or maybe just like me, never. I never clean the future of the ministries by myself. Three concerns in household usage that many people will think about that when I'm going to buy a UVC system for my ministries, there are three things that people always think about. One is the installation. Except for the first installation, that consumer they need to install by themselves, right? Instead of professional staff like the installer, the installation company. Unless it is your first time to buy this air conditioner, otherwise you need to do it by yourself. That means that they need a product to be very easy, to be easy enough to install at home by themselves. Otherwise, they will say, "Oh, hey, it's too difficult for me to install." No, no way. So, first one, installation is very important. Second, the leakage. We all know that the UVC is harmful to people. In the application of commercial air conditioner, there is a duct to keep the UVC inside, and nobody can reach it. But a family application, they cannot provide the large and confined ducts to avoid the UVA and UVC leakage, and this is going to cause the harm to people. Which means that when we design the products, when we design the UVC system for the ministries, we must consider these points. I ever see some UVC lighting for ministries air conditioner in the markets recently. After they are installed, people can still see a lot of blue lights. In my opinion, that's not qualified. If you can still see the blue lights, which means that the blue light may be able to hurt you. So no, we cannot accept that. The third point that people may consider is the price. Consumer are more sensitive to the price and the value. When they buy anything, they will check the price carefully, especially for some low income level family. So, installation, leakage, and price. Those are the three points that many people will consider for the ministry air conditioner. For the UVC solution, considering those key points, after the three months developing, we finally finished the design of the UV strip, perhaps the TL2 paper. Gentlemen, it's paper, but not filter. But actually, we also have the solution for the filter. But this one is paper. Why we use paper? <clears throat> one, it is very easy to install. We just need to pass the UV strips to where you open the air conditioner from the front panel. You open the front panel and then you can stick in the back of the air conditioner front panel. It's very easy. Or you can just put it above your air conditioner. That means that just like this is the air conditioner. This is the air conditioner. You can put the UVC strips here, and then 
it is going to clean the air inlets and then you can cut I'm sorry sorry please Sorry, there is some technical situation we need to solve it. Okay, let me explain this. That's how to install is very simple. Just like this is the main switch air conditioner, you just pull out the front panel and then you can stick the UVC strip in the back of the panel. And also, you can put the UVC strip above the air inlets to do the cleaning here. Here is the air inlets. Here is the fan. And then the power it is going to connect to here to the PVC box. So this is the very easy way for the installation. And there are some products in the market they are doing in this way. For example, they are going to put the UVC LED lamp here in the air outlets. Do you know what is the problem for this kind of design? There are two problems. The first problem is that first, there is going to have leakage. Just like what I said, you are going to see the blue light here. And blue light, the UVA, no matter UVA or UVC, it is harmful to your skin and harmful to your eyes. This is the first reason. And the second reason, remember what I said? Only UVC is not enough for the airflow. If it is uh, airflow here, no, only with the UVC is not enough. So that's why this solution to make the UVC lamp here, it is not possible. That's why we make the UVC to shine the air inlets together with the paper. Yes, this is the one. Okay, thank you. How we do with the paper? Too fast. As what I said, we are using a paper, but not a filter. Why? Because, you know, every size of the air conditioner, the filter is different. I can have a 9000 BTU, I can have a 12000 BTU, I can have a 24000 BTU. That will make the filter if we do the filter customize there will make too many models in this case that we just made a big paper and as a consumer they can just cut the paper according to the size of their filter and then to cover it on the filter and then it works very simple and very easy so this is the first thing we make for the installation and the second thing is the leakage. We don't make the normal UVA. We made a UVA with a 405 nanometer. This wavelength is not harmful to people. So even there is some leakage, that's not a problem. This is the second one. The third one, this design are widely available to brands or models in the market, which means that we can cut our cost lower a lot. Of course, 
Products upgrade is our next step to provide a higher uh, available liberty in air conditioners. We keep our mind of our designer and our, our engineer running. This is the solution for Ministry's air conditioner. Besides the UVC solution for commercial air conditioner and the Ministry air conditioner, the other way is through the UVC air purifier. Through the air conditioner, it is more like an update to the existing market. Then UVC air purifier, for my opinion, I think it is a new market. How to say that? Because the UVC air purifier can be used where air conditioner are not suitable or not installed with UVC filter. How it works is like in this way. Through the air inputs, stabilization outputs of the air, three steps to achieve our aims of air purification and reducing the bacteria and virus contents in certain space and time. And the most important thing is, it can be portable. You can put your air purifier here in this room. You can put your air purifier in your next room. That's no problem. It can apply in everywhere you stay. Like even you can take it with you in the box, in your car, in your office desk, or in the room. And it can also be commercial. Apply in the area with hundreds of square meters, that's no problem. Just you need to make a very big air purifier. And considering the various culture of different countries, we tend to provide our contact technology and components and leave space for clients to design the suitable finished products by themselves. So we only provide the corn, the key technology, and it will find different designs in the products. Hunch in the house corner, a stood on the desk as a decoration, whatever it looks like inside, it is still our corn UVC technology. But no matter UVC solution for commercial air conditioner, or for ministry air conditioner, or for air purifier, there is one common point that is all of them need the UVC for long time running, which require the longer lifespan of UVC LED. As what we mentioned in yesterday's live show, if using the regular organic package, the lifespan, the lifespan is about 1,000 hours or maybe only 300 to 500 hours. But our UVC LED can reach 10 times about that. 10,000 hours. At least 10 times longer than the general one. How can we make it? How can we achieve it to have such a technology? We use two high-tech to ensure the lifespan of UVC. One is in organic package. We are using all in organic material in the LED to block the oxygen and the water outside to protect the light source. Besides, in organic materials are good at anti-UV and can be used for a long time while the organic material, like the glue, it is going to damage by the UVC. The second technology is vacuuming. Further to ensure there is no air inside the light source, that's what we do, vacuuming. And that's almost, I cannot say no one, very few one in the market, they have equipment to do this kind of things, vacuuming. And also, by the way, we talk about that the UVC lifespan is L50. And what is L50? 
as we all know that the lumen of LED will decline over time. L50 means that when lumen declines from 100% to 50%, how much time is needed? Then it is L50. Next, let's focus on air stabilization for commercial air conditioner because this kind of products is the most important one right now. The structure of these products is mainly composed of three parts, as you can see from the presentation. The first part is the dust body. The second part is the UVC and UVA emitter. And the third part is the aluminum TiO2 filter and the rail. The body is mainly for the convenience of installation. Why? Take this model as an example. The size of this model is um, 200 millimeter times 200 millimeter times 200 millimeter, which also means that you only need to cut the 200 millimeter on the original dots, and then you can embed into the mold. The purpose of the French design for example, from the presentation, you can see that there are some parts beside the left and the right. This is what we call French. This French design is because the size of the ducts in different places may be different. Or different countries, they may have different standards. Even some ducts are brown, some ducts they are squares, may be different. And this kind of French design can adapt the dots of different size and shape. To make different shape, different size of the dot can connect together. And the length of the UV emitter is about 190 millimeters. It contains a total of 10 light sources on both sides, of which six pieces are UVA light source with a radiate flux of 700 millivolts and four UVC light sources with a radiance flux of 10 millivolts. As for the size of the aluminum TiO2 filter and the size of the body, they are both 200. But we have chose the design of rail. When necessary, you can Draw out the filter through the wear directly and you can wash it by the water. And regarding the future, I believe that many people may have some question about that, which is how long is the life of the filter? How often does it need to be cleaned? First of all, the filter does not have any so-called life limits, which means that you can use it through your whole life. Because titanium dioxide, this is the name of the TiO2, is actually not consumed. It is not going to consume or maybe go away. No, it is not going to be that. Its working principle is like this. Under the action of light, it is going to generate free radicals, which we also call a free radical, which will attach to the surface of the filter. And once the bacteria and the virus pass by the filter, they will be broken down into carbon and water. This is how this kind of photocatalysts do. Second, it is with aluminum material, not like the common filter that made by paper, so it is not easy to be damaged. And finally, as mentioned earlier, this UVC system is installed at the intersection of fresh air and return air. Generally, after passing through the air conditioner pre-filter, 
there is not much dust in it in this kind of space so there is no dust accumulation in our future so normally we don't need to worry about the lifespan of the future but just in case you can draw out directly you can wash it with water maybe every six months generally speaking and in addition after adding the mold how much it would affect the airflow and maybe how much it would affect the air pressure because no matter what we put something before the air right that's depending on the original air volume this impact is about 10 percent to 30 percent that is the smaller the air volume the smaller the impact and the larger the air volume the greater the impact and of course if the original air conditioning the duct size is smaller than the size of the uvc system then there will be very little impact on the air volume in addition this model this size is suitable for the 280 m3 per hour to 300 m3 per hour this is the air volume if the dust is inside this kind of volume that's no problem and for smaller airflow we can make the unit smaller for economy consideration and for bigger airflow we can make the units bigger for performance consideration that's no problem as you can see we can do the customize finally if your air dust size is relatively large and maybe such like 400 600 800 1000 1200 blah 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 please come to us for the exact calculation next let's talk about the air purifier actually we already can see some air purifier in the markets they are on sales in the markets but most of them are with the mercury lamp as what we can see just the mercury lamp like what we mentioned yesterday mercury lamp has advantage that is the low cost and the high power however is this advantage are also very very big Besides the dangerous mercury inside, it may generate ozone. The ozone is harmful to human body if the ozone in the air is over 3.0.3 mm per m3. That could make the air very dangerous. And also, by the way, to avoid the generation of ozone, there are some new models like with a very special painting on the gas to be used on the coarse glass to block the 185 nanometer which will cause the ozone but this kind of solution also have a lot of problem as what we said just now UVC decay very fast in the air and it can reach maybe only maximum one meter and if it is without ozone how good is the sterilizing performance mm -hmm. a big question also as we can see normally the mercury lamp it is with a long strip shape this kind of shape is going to limit the design and the cost of the finished products for example, one of my customers, they want to design a 200 millimeter height air purifier. He think about that at the very beginning. But finally, the final product turned out to be 500 millimeter. Why? Because only the mercury lamp, it is already 220 millimeters. 
that limits the final design of the final products. What about the case with the UVC LED? As we can see, the light source of UVC LED only takes 35 times 35 millimeter. It is very micro, very small, and possible to minimize half of the product size. That also means we can save half of the outer case cost and make it more convenient and make it more portable. Think about that. If you are going to make an air purifier such big, it is not possible for you to take it outside to bus, to your office, to your school. But if you have an air purifier maybe that size, you can take it from your home to your office. That's no problem. But as a buyer, there is one thing you need to consider. There is one thing you need your attention in purchasing if you are thinking about to buy some air purifier. If you find so-called UVC air purifier without the insert of TiO2 filter, you should know then this kind of products it is just a principle. There is going to have no real performance, just drop it. Because as I said once again, only UVC is not possible for the air from application. So be careful for this kind of products. If there is no filter inside, if it only say that I have the UVC, no, it is not going to have any good performance. And in commercial air condition, some may also provide a mercury lamp instead of the others. It is also very often in the markets, but actually in the size of an expert, mercury lamp it is not suitable for commercial air condition. Let me say that again. Mercury lamp, it is not suitable for the air conditioner, commercial air conditioner. Why? First reason. As what we said just now, only UVC is not enough for air from application. Second, the material of the mercury lamp is quartz gas and easy to be broken under a big airflow and big pressure. Reason 3. If any broken issue or leakage happened, the mercury lamp will spread out to every room. Wow, then it is going to be a very big disaster. Reason 4. It can only installed in return air ducts, which means that you are not able to clean the fresh air. Think about that. The, the air fly from the cooling room to the room, return that, and then they can start the sterilization. How about at the beginning? No. If there is some air is um, affected by the virus at the very beginning, then the people inside the room will suffer by it. And different from above, as we also mentioned, UVC LED is installed on every interaction of fresh air and return air. And we, as we mentioned before, we ever do some research, uh, 30 words UV lights had UV dose at 0.09 milliwatts per centi square meters within 100 cm area. With this kind of number, let's do the math. When it is one centimeter above the object, the UV radiation area is 20.71 square centimeters, right? And the 100 cm is 207116.01 centimeter, centi square meters. This is the number, let's say. And the radiation of light source is equal to 
1A640.44 milliverts, which is um, 1A.64 watts. This is the number how we do the calculation. The figure out means in a 20 centimeter square dust, this is the regular size of the dust, it's 20 centimeter. If the light source is in the middle, let me say, let me draw something for you easy understanding. Okay, this is the dust, and the size is 20 centimeters. And if the mercury lamp installed here, which means that here is around 10 centimeter, right? If the light source is in the middle with 10 centimeter radiation distance, and the 2,071.16 cm square meters radiation area and then the UV dose a very important name the UV dose is 9 milliwatts per centi square meters this is how we do the calculation and as we know yesterday based on the 40 mj per cent for centi square meter standard, it is going to need 4.45 seconds. Which means that in here, if there is a virus in these points, which is 10 centimeters away from the UVC lighting, under the 40 mJ per centi square meter standard it is going to need 4.44 seconds to do the sterilization in still air which means that the air is still and not going to move or something this is a very important number and which means that not consider the airflow the mercury lamp still need 4.44 seconds to function and let alone in the airflow a higher airflow consideration keep cycle through the sterilization can lower the contents of the virus and bacteria in the air this is the very big problem that almost no one no other people is going to tell you and free radical always stand by and resolve the virus and bacteria to water in carbon and carbon dioxide at instance. That's why we are using the TLO2 filter. Because if without this kind of immediate killing, it is not possible to clean the virus in the airflow. Okay. Let's review what we mentioned above for today. First, limited to the cost and performance, those exciting applications we just talked about, like a lighting overhead or a sterilizing doors, they make people feel exciting, but they haven't become true. Not yet, not yet come true. The most economical and effective way is still the air sterilization. This is fourth point. Second, for air sterilization, we recommend the UVC solution for commercial air conditioner and the family air conditioner and the UVC air purifier. We don't recommend you use a mercury lamp in the room because that's harmful, maybe harmful to people and you need to be very careful operation. And we would like to highly recommend air sterilization to you. If you are working in the air conditioning field, providing products or service like lighting by electrical appliances to HVAC field or dealing with the business of household electrical 
appliances, or any household products, I highly recommend you to consider the UVC air treatment because you are going to have the same clients and the same channel that they would also need this kind of application. That's the conclusion. Tomorrow, we will have more on the UVC LED technology with the special guest. We are going to have the to share the knowledge of our special technology with our general engineer, Mr. Wang. So, thank you very much for being here today. And if you have any questions, you are welcome to contact us. You are welcome to send email to me, the Daniel China one two two three at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. And thank you very much. And see whether you have any questions about today's share. Well, one hour again. So my colleague is handling that. Maybe whether you already put some questions on that, and let's see. Thank you. Okay, there are some questions. The first one is that, as a new technology, will the cost of UVC solution be very high? Which means that will the UVC solution expensive? My answer is yes. Only the UVC LED. Only the UVC LED. The cost is for sure very high. For example, that let me say one thing. The the UVA we are using right now is 700 millivolts, and the regular UVC we are using right now is 10 millivolts. Do you know how much is the cost differences? This one is almost 10 times. This is UVC, this is UVA, 10 times than that. That's why right now, if you can see a product with many UVC LED and tell you that, hey, come on, man, this is a very cheap product, don't believe that. Don't believe it. The UVC LED is still very expensive. And that's why we use the UVC plus UVA plus TIO2 filter. That's why. That's normally for economic consideration. But as we said before, on the UVA, they don't have the function of sterilization, which means that if some people, they told you that, hey, we have the UVC and UVA, but if they, told, they didn't tell you the TO2 filter, then it's not going to happen for the sterilization. This is the first question. Okay, the second one. Is all the e organic package a unique technology? Okay, that related to the lifespan of the LED. Let me say in this way. In organic technology. This is the technology not related to the lifespan of the UVC or actually related to the lifespan of every LED. Okay, This is not a unique technology, but I can say there are very few in the markets can do that. We are the few. We are the one of the few. We are the one of the few. This is one point. Why it is very difficult? Because they need very exact equipment to do that. And not many companies, they have this kind of equipment. And also, as I said yesterday, the cost. 
is at least 40 hundred higher than the regular UVC. This is the first one. But the second one is vacuuming. Even less, even few companies can do that. Which means that if there are some company they are trying to sell you the UVC LED, you need to ask them what is the technology of package? Is that in organic or organic? And also, do you did do you do the vacuuming before they do the package? If the answer is yes, and then you need to figure out whether they are telling the truth or not. And if the answer is no, okay, and then you can judge that the lifespan of their UVC LED won't be long, maybe one thousand hours. That's a very possible situation. Okay. The third question. Could we get sample of UVC air stabilization? Of course, you can get sample. Just contact us. <laughs> Send email to me. That's no problem. And the fourth question is that how to connect the power supply of air UVC air stabilization? Okay. This question, let me say in two applications. The first application is the commercial type. We may <clears throat> we made our power supply is this range, which means that you are 110, no problem, you are 220, no problem, you are 305, no problem. You can connect our UVC system directly to the city electricity. This is for the commercial type. And for the ministry type, just as what I said just now, this is the PCB box. This is the PCB box of the air conditioner, the ministry. You can connect here to get the elect electricity. So that's very easy. Okay, the next question is that. Can I just leave the cavity as long as the light tube, which is how I apply it to my existing ducts? Mm, this question I think is in this way. It's related to the installation. Let me say, normally the ducts is like this, right? This is the airflow ducts. The air here is the airflow. How to do the installation? Two steps. The first step is that we cut a piece in the ducts and then we install the filter here. This is the first step. The second step is that we dig a hole here <coughs> and then to make the UV turf right here, shining. And as you may know, this is our very basic model. And we have another Prax model is that is double shining, which means that this one shining in this direction and also can shine in this direction. And then we can cut one type to install one filter Finish. Connect to the electricity. Okay. That's all. Any other questions? Okay. Then it is the end of today's show. Thank you very much for coming and I'm going to see you tomorrow to share the new technology of the LED industry. I think that may be a technology you never heard before, but this kind of technology will really and totally and definitely make your products different as your competitors. See you tomorrow.